Okay, so we're going to talk about side, 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 and for those of you wondering what SSS is, it's going to be a lot of writing today because these are definitions, all right, and they're basically if-then statements, okay? So it's going to go like this, if three sides... of a triangle are congruent, lovely math word, to three what kind of sides? What's the magic math word? Starts with a C. Not congruent, the other one. Corresponding are congruent to three corresponding sides of another triangle okay there's my if statement so guess what my then statement is then, they are then the two triangles are congruent 12 paragraphs later. Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, well. Then the two triangles are congruent. It's fine. All right. Side, side, side. If the three sides of a triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay, so what's it going to look like? Okay, so this is example one on page 300, excuse me, 262. We're going to try to prove that GHL is congruent to KJL by the given statement and all that we have. So I know that GH is congruent to KJ. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put congruent signs on them. That way I know. So in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm already doing what they're saying. I'm just doing it because it's given. Yeah, the given. That's all right. Okay, so HL is congruent to JL. So I'm going to put two congruent marks on those again because it doesn't say they're congruent to the other ones. It just means they're congruent to each other. Now, for those of you so weary of a proof, they've already proved it for us. We just have to write it out because they've told us L is the midpoint of GK, which means what? That GL is congruent to LK. Now we just have to write a statement stating that. Okay, so we're going to go to a two-column proof. Yay. That's the excitement that I know and love. Okay, two-column proof. Left side, shh, left side is our what? Statements. Right side is our reasons. It does work in real life. This is called cause and effect, okay? It's just written down on paper. It's the same thing. It's cause and effect logic. Okay, statements, all right? They gave us GHKJ They gave us HL and JL And they gave us L as the midpoint of GK. Reason given. Okay. <laughs> All right, step number two. Let's take something from shh, let's take something from our given statement and prove it okay so what can we take from our given statement that's not actually proven we have to write it down as proof do it well they've told us that but what does it create okay it creates gl is congruent to lk 
Okay. Now, what's the reason for that? Okay. Definition of midpoint. Midpoint theorem. Whatever you want to write is fine with me. I'm going to go with definition, and this is a horrible abbreviation, but it is what it is. Definition of midpoint. Okay. So I now currently have how many sides congruent to how many sides? Three. So I'm done, right? So now I go step number three. I have GHL, triangle GHL, excuse me, is now congruent to triangle KJL. Why? Write the paragraph. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. All right, you can write side, 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 and that's it. Yes, but you have to. You have to. We're not to sass yet. We're just on. Okay, right now it's just they're not the same. What does SSS stand for? What does SAS stand for? Big difference. We'll get to it in just a second. Okay, so that is side, side, side. Okay, now let's go to side, angle, side. Side, angle, side is very important because the wording is crucial. Okay, the wording is crucial. So it goes like this. If two sides... And an included angle of a triangle are congruent It's a nice T. If two sides and an included angle of a triangle are congruent to two sides and an included angle of another triangle, Now we're to our then statement. Then the triangles are congruent. All right, here's a triangle, and I'm just going to label it A, B, C. All right? I want to know the included angle for side AB and side BC. Okay? I want to know the included angle between side AB and BC. What do you think? What is, what is it? It's B. Okay. I take this side and I take this side and what angle is formed by those two sides? B. Angle B. That's the included angle. So in side, 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 or excuse me, side, angle, side, this is my side. This is my side, and this is my angle. Hence the name, because it's in order, side, angle, side. That looks horrible. It looks like bangle, but side, bangle, <laughs> side. Bangle, side. I'm going to go ahead and put that B over here. All right. Again, it's in order, side, angle, side. So it could not be angle C. It could not 
be angle A. It has to be the one that's included. Okay? Why? Because if this side is equal to that side, then these angles are already equal because it's an isosceles triangle, isn't it? Even though it's drawn horribly. Okay? Because if you have two sides of a triangle that are congruent, don't they also have two angles congruent? Because it's an isosceles triangle. The only thing we don't know is that third angle. Well, it has to be because it's side angle side. Make sense, right? Well, how do you know which it has to be the included one. You know, at the end of the day, you need to know every single side, right? And you need to know every single angle. Okay. If I know this is, and again, my drawing is horrible. I apologize. Okay. If I know this side is equal to that side, I know that my triangle must be isosceles, right? Yeah. Which makes this angle equal to this angle. So now I know what all the angles are because of side angle side. Good times. Now, I don't have actual values of them. I don't know what they are, but I know that they would correspond to another one. Okay?